Hello, 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 welcome back to Hunter Tuned. As you can see, I'm all spiffed up today. Figured I'd show my uh, appreciation to the Wisconsin judicial system. So anyways, I had court this morning and uh, tried to get out of a speeding ticket that I got a few months ago when we tuned the uh, the, sink, uh, the cookie cutter Viterra build that I did for a customer. Uh, we built that car with a Z6 and we put a VS Racing Turbo on it and all that kind of stuff. And we are tuning it one night. I don't think I told you guys this, but we were tuning it one night and I blew past a cop at like going kind of fast. And uh, he whipped a Yui and pulled me over and he, he said, why were you speeding? And I said, well, I was just going to Walmart. So the cop proceeded to give me a um, unreasonable and imprudent speed ticket. Now, he didn't catch me on radar, or he told me, he's like, why were you, or how fast were you going? And I'm like, I'm not talking to you. And, you know, he, he was cool. I was cool to him. But I, I didn't want to, like, admit that, hey, I was fucking burning rubber in third gear past you. Uh, so he just came up to me and said, hey, I didn't get you on radar, but I knew I know you were speeding. You had to have been going 80 miles an hour in a fucking 45, whatever. And uh, so he proceeded to give me this imprudent speed ticket. So I figured I would try to go to court and fight it and see if the judge would let me off with a warning or something or lower the points because I haven't gotten a speeding ticket in like two years. And usually when I get one speeding ticket, it doesn't stop until I lose my license, and that would not be good, so I figured I would try to go fight this ticket. <clears throat> so I go to the court and told them that uh, the car just had a loud exhaust and the cop must have been uh, you know, a little loopy that day. And uh, the, the judge literally looked at me and laughed. And he's just like, dude, I'm not doing anything about this fucking ticket. So that sucks. Oh well. I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, learn my lesson and try to get a dyno or something so I don't gotta tune cars on the street as much. But, uh, you know, it's just the price you pay. Uh, maybe next time the cop won't actually catch me. So I'm just sitting here uh, flowing some injectors because it seems like every time I catch up on orders, I get more, which is freaking awesome. Um, I am out of flex fuel ones, so I have to go to the junkyard and grab some more. Um, I think I'm, I'm all caught up on flex fuel injector orders, but um, like I said, I just I, I need to go get some more in order to uh, keep keep them in stock. But I do have a bunch of the regular style trucks, truck injectors in stock, uh, if you guys are looking for any. And if you guys still placed an order for the Flex Fuel ones, say today or tomorrow, I will have them by tomorrow, and they'll still probably ship within a day. Um, that's how these orders usually have been going for me, is if you place an order, it usually ships within a day or two, and you receive it you know, within five days or so. So, um, thank you so much for the orders on the website, guys. I haven't been selling a whole lot of stickers, but I have been selling injectors, which um, I'd rather help somebody out with their build than sell them a sticker, but the sticker orders are still greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you guys want to rep Hunter Tune on your car or have a sticker that is mine, uh, that would, you know, that would greatly help me out too. So check out my website, huntertune.com, for all your needs. And um, also, I probably will be putting uh, more turbos on the website. Like I said, I can get you guys whatever you need for turbochargers. Any size VS Racing cells, I can get it for you. And uh, if you guys have questions on turbo size and all that stuff, my email is in the description of every video, and you can hit me up there. But, uh, yeah. So now that this is done, uh, car is almost. It's almost time to go to the alignment shop to get this thing aligned. Uh, probably gonna have to pump the tires back up until I get there, just because I don't really want to drive it on the street with low pressure. So yeah, hopefully this thing makes it out of the driveway too, because as you can see, my driveway is full of fucking snow, and drag slicks don't have any tread. So we're gonna have to get a running start. Start in the garage. Bang it on the two-step in reverse and dump the clutch. Pop a wheelie in the back and carry it all the way out the driveway. 
that'd be funny but no we probably won't do that hopefully we'll make it out of the driveway though and uh yeah so i'll pick up when we get to the alignment shop all right guys so i went to the alignment shop where i had my appointment scheduled today and uh as you can see i'm back in the garage uh, they put it on the alignment rack and said that they couldn't actually align my car because these wheels, their like hub tool thing that go matches up with the lasers on the alignment rack, uh, didn't fit the wheel. So I had to leave and they didn't, they weren't able to align my car. So I scheduled an alignment with another place here in town and hopefully they can do it. There's a couple other places that said they would. So I don't know. I feel like them guys were just a little bit lazy today. And they just didn't want to mess with it because it's some aftermarket deal and supposedly that's more work. Um, whatever. Some shops are like that. But uh, anyways, hopefully this other shop, we won't have any issues. And we can get the car all aligned. And uh, we'll be all good to go. Alright guys, I'm back from the alignment shop now. And uh, it's actually the next day. But uh, I had a hell of a time with this alignment. And the shop that I went to the second time... They ended up aligning the car, but they they quoted me like 75 bucks to do the alignment. So I said, okay, I'll bring it in, and they put it on the alignment rack. Everything was kind of messed up. The camber in the back, camber in the front, and the uh, caster with my traction bar was a little messed up. So we set all that stuff up, and they couldn't get the toe, uh, the, the jam nuts loose on the toe. So we didn't actually do the toe, but uh, we did the camber on the front and back, and the caster on the traction bars and uh car drives a thousand times better it doesn't pull to the left or right anymore the toe wasn't off a shitload um I, I will try to get those busted loose soon and then go back and get the toe set right but uh like i said it's still a thousand times better than it was but uh anyways the shop quoted me 75 bucks to do this alignment and i get there and we were messing with it for like 45 minutes doing the camber and all that and then like the owner of the shop came back by the alignment rack where I was with the mechanic that was doing it. And he came up to me and he said, hey man, this is gonna be a little bit more than a normal alignment. And then I said, why is that? And he said, well, you know, we have to adjust your, your control arms and stuff like that. And I said, so, what's the, what's the, what do you mean? What, you guys charge 75 bucks for a flat rate alignment, four wheel, alignment 75 bucks flat rate um and he said because i had aftermarket parts on the car they needed to charge me instead of a flat rate alignment they were going to charge me time or yeah time and material so they were going to charge me normal shop rate and materials they needed to you to use i don't know to freaking align the car and i'm like okay well how much is it going to be and he quoted me 230 dollars i got a little upset let me tell you so I was talking to him and I said that it was unfair because the car was already done. Uh, we did all the stuff we can do. And then he tells me after we're already done working on the car that it's going to be $230. So I didn't think that was fair. I kind of threw a stinky fit at the guy because that, I mean, I, I would have understood if he would have said that initially when I got there. But initially when I got there, he told me 75 bucks. And then after I was done, he said 230 and the thing that I don't agree with is he told me 75 bucks for a four wheel alignment. And because the car had aftermarket parts, it was $230. Even though the aftermarket parts were on the car in purpose to do a four wheel alignment. Um, I don't think having aftermarket parts on the car should really affect your ability to do a four wheel alignment. It's a fucking Honda Civic. It's not like it's a rusty old cavalier or something if you know what i mean because i know some cars can probably take upwards of two hours to do an alignment because the car's so rusty and you have to put penetrating oil and stuff on the bolts to get everything loose where my car everything's brand new and you know very easy to adjust so after about an hour of literally bickering back and forth with this guy he finally uh, told me that he was going to call the cops on me and have me hauled out of there and he looked like he was ready to kill me. He was ready to throw fists and start punching. And I just said, like, dude, this is this is totally bad business. You need to make this right. And uh, some other part of the owner, some other owner came out and ended up making the deal right. And he charged me 75 bucks plus tax, which at the end of the day, that was a fair deal to me. Even though I didn't get the fully 
I didn't get a full four wheel alignment like I initially paid for because we couldn't get the tow uh, jam nuts loose, but oh well. Anyways, the car's good to go now and uh, we're gonna go try it out. Uh, I don't wanna run the slicks on the street, so I'm gonna throw my regular tires back on and then we're just gonna go test this out and see how everything feels with the new alignment. All right guys, so I'm taking a little break from uh, my car. I was gonna swap the wheels, but uh, stopped over here by Christian's, Christian Blake on YouTube, and uh, we're checking out his car because he just got a lot of it done, and I've uh, been working on it for a little while now. He rebuilt a stock D16Y8, and he threw an eBay turbo on it with Michael's old top mount manifold, or pretty much Michael's old one, and uh, pretty much Michael's old setup, but on a stock Y8, and PVC intercooler piping. You don't see this every day. I ran 12s with PVC, so I'm sure he'll be just fine with a little single cam. Uh, we got the old E-Musa, E-M-U-S-A. Uh, $38. $38 blow-off valve here, RTV'd onto the pipe. <laughs> Looks fucking mint. Uh, we got PVC running down. These couplers are usually good to about 10 pounds of boost. Uh, any more than that, and they like to split open. You might have issues with this one because it's a 90. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you do have issues with it, we'll just go buy a 90-degree plastic yeah. PVC coupler, oh, yeah. and then we'll be fucking dialed. Uh, reuse free intercooler. <clears throat> free intercooler here. This is uh, nice and banged up, but it doesn't leak. Out of T-Bag's Customs Garage. <laughs> yep. Um, and then we're running the piping down here. This is a pretty uh, nice angle he got cut here. I uh, might have to shorten this guy so it comes up and the bumper actually fits. But, uh, yeah, there's the old turbo. He's got a shitload of oil all over the engine bay because he just fired it up and the dipstick uh, wasn't in there, so it, it blew a bunch of oil out. So he's trying to clean all that up. And uh, we'll get to tuning on this thing one of these days. Or, fuck you, Michael. He just threw a snowball at me. I don't even know where it went. It's all Whatever. Sorry, I had to get oven cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> What, what flavor is that again? Is that the lemon? Is that the lemon scented oven cleaner? Yeah, it's more a uh, kiwi. Kiwi? Kiwi. Yeah. Key lime, actually. So, Christian has a set of the decap normal truck injectors because it's a single cam, and that's usually what I recommend for single cams is the normal style truck injectors. Got those in there with a base map, and he drove it around the block. Everything seems so good so far. Tune's quite rich, but we'll uh, get that sorted out one of these days, or tonight, or tomorrow, or something. Everything's one of these days. Yeah, everything's one of these days, and it ends up being in the five minutes. Cool. <laughs> All right, so now we're actually going to run to Menards and uh, grab some stuff and return something that I bought that I highly recommend you don't waste your money on. And it's got a nice carrying case. Okay, so uh, the thing that I bought at Menards, I bought it today uh, because I want a cordless impact that I can kind of bring to the junkyard with me or bring to the racetrack. To swap wheels and tires or anything like that and I seen that Menards had this tool shop brand 18 volt cordless half inch impact on sale for $79.99 or something like that and uh, it says it does 220 foot-pounds of breakaway torque or maximum torque whatever and it comes with a carrying bag battery charger and the socket set so I said fuck it I'll try it out if I don't like it I'll return it and here we are on our way back to Menards. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried this thing out, I pulled it out of the box, the battery was charged and everything, and uh, it couldn't take the lug nuts off my Civic. So uh, yeah, if you can't take lug nuts off my car, I'm not gonna fucking buy you. So tool shop, get your shit together, and maybe maybe up the price to $100 and make this 220 rating 500 and uh, compete with the Bauer one from Harbor Freight because I would love to buy like the Bauer Impact from Harbor Freight because that one does like 450 foot-pounds. But uh, unfortunately, the Harbor Freight where I'm located, the half-inch Bauer Impact doesn't come with a uh, battery or charger and uh, they're out of stock of the chargers. So I would have to order one online or something and I don't really want to do that. So I'm thinking I might go to Home Depot or Lowe's and see what they have. I might bite the bullet and buy the Earthquake or buy like a DeWalt or something. So I don't know, I'm curious about what uh, what impacts are all out there and how much money they are. I really don't want to spend a whole lot, but I think it'd be worth it. Because I'm sick of fucking using a breaker bar. Every time we go out on the lake or on the uh, at the racetrack or whatever, I'm always bringing a jack and a, a goddamn breaker bar and 
It's just annoying. I'm getting I'm getting too old for this shit. Yeah, the one that my buddy my buddy has a DeWalt one, and that one's pretty nice. Not not the average one, but the nice one. Yeah, the nice DeWalt or whatever. But we'll pick up when we uh, look at some impacts. All right, I don't know if you guys know about how badass this Maserati is. Maserati. Uh, dude, you don't even want me to. You don't even want to get close to this thing when I kick it down into manual. Got to kick her over to the right, push her up a bunch. There she goes, first gear. First is because this thing never loses a race when it's in gear number one. Number one means we're gonna win. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. There we go. Second gear. You know. It never, it never, uh, you know, if it doesn't get first, you always kick it to second, and then you'll get second. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, this thing, uh, you, you hear it surge going through the power band? Yeah. It's like, it's like, Ma is that Mazda's VTEC? Um, I think it's got a little bit of boost surge. I think the boost solenoid might have too much frequency in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? This thing's boosted? In my dreams. <laughs> Um, this thing goes through about a quart a week, a quart or quarter, you know, a quart, quart and a half every week. And uh, over the winter, it quit using oil. So I don't know uh, what's wrong with it, but I mean, as you can see, this thing still annihilates the streets. This is Hunter Tuned signing off. Normally, I wouldn't want to film like, you know, I'd be like, hey, Michael, cut the camera off. I have too much footage, too much footage for me to edit because my old computer, when I would try to like upload the video That's awkward. to the computer, <laughs> that dude just stared at me. If I tried to upload the video to the computer, if the clip was longer, my computer would just drag and it would go so slow and I'd have to wait like a half hour for one to 15 minute clip or something like that. But now it's like, you can just upload it and edit right away. The new Sony Vegas software that I got is, is pretty styling. It's pretty styling. Just like the Chevy Volt in front of us. It's pretty styling. Looks like that car right there. Yeah, pretty, pretty styling. This thing's got great brakes right, too, dude. Here we go. Come on, go around the inside! Ooh, taggy. Dude, oh. we totally just gapped that dude because we picked the right line on the racetrack. You weren't even in first gear. How I know, we were in second. How did we, we take won. first? Yeah, dude, I don't get it. Think this cobalt wants any? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him three honks and give him a chance. Are you really? Oh my god, this is a it's a chick. She does not have bed. <laughs> 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 She's going real slow. She wants to go from a 20 mile an hour roll, I think. Oh no, she's turning. She's going road racing. She's gotta get that happy meal, if you know what I mean. Yep. Okay, where are we, Michael? Uh, best tool shop place in town. Harbor Freight Tools. We're at Harbor Freight Tools. They got a spring Black Friday sale, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today's Wednesday, <laughs> so uh, we're right on time. Today is not Wednesday. <laughs> Today's Thursday, isn't it? Is today Thursday? Yeah. I don't even know. I have off days. tomorrow, bitch. It is. Okay, so we went to Lowe's and we looked at an Impact and they had a Cobalt that did 600 foot-pounds of torque for 200 bucks, which I didn't think was that bad, but if I'm going to spend 200 bucks, I might as well just go get the Earthquake. Weird. Someone say that? What? Someone say that? Yeah, you told me that. Oh. Why would you fucking waste money if you made me... You spend 40 more dollars and get four times more power. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back in the garage now and I ended up going to Harbor Freight and biting a bullet and I bought the Earthquake XT. Uh, impact wrench. Michael keeps running away from me because he wants to try it out. <laughs> there it is. I, you were hiding it. <laughs> Hopefully this thing works good. Like I said, that tool shop one couldn't even break these lug nuts loose. Look at that. Comes with a nice case and everything. I feel like I shouldn't spoil a lot of this because I'm gonna do a full review on one. Maybe I should just do the review on a separate video. And we'll just try it in this video, just trying to tease you. Hello, hello, hello. Do 
Hoonigan Hunter tuned here. So we're tuning the Hoonigan Mobile, the PVC pipe. And uh, we just had to plug the old ostrich uh, goat into the P28 goat. I think your light burned up. Sounds good. Damn it. So Kristen brought his car over, we did a valve lash adjustment, and now we're hooking the ostrich up. And this video is all over the fucking place, and I apologize, but you'll get over it, I hope. And you'll still watch my channel. Um, sorry for people that actually like to see what I put in the title and have that be the whole video, because it's definitely not the way we roll. So uh, yeah, we're tuning here. We're going to tune it up, give her a tune up, and uh, give her another tune up, and then we're going to tune it. You know what I mean? And then do another tune up? Probably tune up, yeah. We're going to tune up the tune up, and then once the tune up's tuned up, we can get some tune up. I like the tune here. Uh, what? I like the tune here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hunter, I don't understand you. Have you ever watched Fast and Furious? No. Never wrong. seen it. Well, you're an idiot. What's that? What's Fast and Furious? What is the Furious? I don't know, dude. You're going to lose subscribers over this. <laughs> Watch, this is going to be like a 40 minute video. And people are going to be like, what the fuck? If they make it this far into the video. Jesus. Do you want to show them my, uh, my foot cut out? Yeah, it's a big square. Getting data from ECU. Holy shit, I have a map. Holy shit, there's a problem. Here, you can uh, Oh, you got a phone. Oh, yeah, I do. I was gonna say, you got a phone on. <laughs> no, that is my hood exit. So, yeah. What? Do you want the camera? I want the camera. Is this, this is just pushed right What? They can't even see me anyway, so they don't even fucking know. Okay. How good you are? Oh, yeah, they don't know that I uh, stick in your ass every night. I'm just Mr. Dick Rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good. Alright, so should we far. try out these precision injectors we put in here? Yeah, they're made by GM, right? Yeah, I think so. What's that, Jamie? Yeah, some shit like that. Some shit like that. What? Yeah. You know what Hunter told me earlier? What? I'm not, really, even, honestly, I'm not even worried about editing anymore. It's so easy. Someone's gonna let this roll the whole time. Uh, that's all good. That's all good. Good, good, good. In the hood, 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 hood. Would you like to rebuild the tables? Yes, sir. I would like to rebuild my tables. We would like even distribution along with all the tables. Okay. Thank you very much. What did you say? Thank you very much. Thank you. What do you want from me? Can they see this? Oh, so that's a map we got going on there. <laughs> it's upside down. Yeah. Confusion. 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 Future. Future. Do we have the hunter tune button to do back here? <laughs> I thought my ass crossed. Like <laughs> <laughs> wow, these injectors are not working at all on this thing. Imagine that. Don't shut the door, please. <laughs> okay, so we got ignition here. We got no planet. Hey. Is that mint put in some fucking... Mint. Mint. <laughs> mint. <laughs> Man. Mm. <laughs> 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 this shit is cute. <laughs> you like Sully?
buy the cap that goes onto it, yeah. and then you drill it and you put a golf stem on it, like a white golf oh, stem. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you pump it, pump up. it up, and then this thing gets fucking pissing off because this thing probably won't hold more than one pound on a boost like this. Right, guys so we just got done tuning christian's car and uh he had some issues where i think it's got a boost leak somewhere i'm not exactly sure where but sometimes the car would completely lose boost and then it would come back and it would lose boost and come back um i think he might have not glued one of his pvc pipes good enough or something but uh we're just experimenting playing around with his car it's uh, kind of just a low buck low boost stock motor setup but uh, did get it driving pretty good. Everything starts good, runs good, cruises good, comes into boost good. And the fuel pulls we did do, it was in the 11s. So I think the tune-up is good to go and um, should have no issues there. Uh, he's running the decapped injectors like I sell on the website and they work great. <clears throat> so as for the alignment on the Civic, I didn't really get to drive it a whole lot today. I did pick up that new impact wrench. I did a whole bunch of shit in this video. And I'm sorry if it was all scattered around and whatever. Hopefully you still enjoyed. And um, we'll come back tomorrow with another video. Hopefully uh, something that's a little bit more dedicated to one thing or another. But I don't know. Hopefully you still enjoy the scatterbrain videos where they're all over the place. Um, yeah, we'll do some more stuff tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video for the 100th time. And uh, please hit the like button if you do. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And um, we will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.